Coggle Army here, and today we're going to be talking about video games, particularly my top five favorite video game franchises. Yeah, but Carl, no one wants to hear about that. Well, you see, I don't think you can truly watch a content creator without knowing a little bit more about them and knowing the kind of things that they're into and what they find interesting. And I, I just really wanted to make this video. Without further ado, we're going to talk about my five favorite video game franchises. Some may shock you, some probably not so much. Number five, I'm going to have to say it is The Sims. Now, The Sims is a weird game because you either don't play The Sims for months or years, and then all of a sudden you just play The Sims for 37 hours straight. It's just just how it happened. But now I've always liked The Sims. I had Sims 1 and 2 on the family PC back when I was a kid. And then I had the, the PS2 games like Sims Busting Out, Herbs in the City, those kind of things. I've always enjoyed just building a house, creating a family, uh, letting them live out their life, getting bored of them, removing the ladder from the pool, killing them off, torturing them. Sims is very much like that one episode of Adventure Time where Finn gets all the little versions of people and he makes them do all crazy shenanigans and basically ruins their life. These guys here, they're going out. Pretty serious. And look at Chew Goose and Lollipop Girl. They're still testing the waters. That, that, that's what happens when you play The Sims. It's the only way you can ever get that experience. I've, I've probably played every Sims to date, um, not including like expansions, but you know, like one, two, three, four, five, bloody, bloody, blah, blah, blah. And I will continue to keep buying them. I, I am aware I just said five and there isn't a Sims 5 yet, but soon we'll, we'll probably get it. Number four, and I'm cheating a bit here, but it, it's, it's just Mario. Any kind of Mario game, tennis, golf, Mario Kart, Mario Party, Mario Rivers, Super Mario 64. One eternity later. It doesn't matter. Any kind of Mario game, they're just, it's fun family content. I grew up playing Super Mario Brothers and Super Mario 64, and I just love those kind of games. They're fun. I'd, I'd love to say they're stress-free, but they're not. <laughs> When you've got friends or family over, everyone can sit down with a Joy-Con, everyone can join in and play. Nintendo did something truly great when they created Mario, and I hope to see him around for a lot, a lot of years. Number three is Resident Evil. I know, right? That's a really big departure going from, like, the, the fun-lovingness of Super Mario to the gritty survival horror of Resident Evil. Now, I absolutely love the Resident Evil franchise. Everything from Resident Evil 1 all the way to Resident Evil 8. I'm not ashamed to admit, I like 5 and 6. I know 5 and 6 get so much slack, but I just love everything about Resident Evil. I love its cheesy dialogue. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. Where's everyone going? Bingo? I love how camp it can be at times. I love it when it does horror. I love it when it does action. Resident Evil will always be my go-to horror franchise we've played a lot of resident evil on the past on stream we've played seven we've played two we've played one remake i love to get hold of a ps1 and play the um classic version of one you know the one with a really bad dialogue oh fairy that was too close you were almost a jill sandwich <laughs> you're right fairy thanks for saving my life yeah that one <laughs> number two again big change of pace we're going from survival horror to baby's first rpg is pokemon how can you not love the pokemon franchise like if you grew up 
in the 90s, early 2000s, or maybe even later, chances are if you are <laughs> over the age of 13, you have played a Pokemon game at some point in your life. And I will admit, it is, it's the same formula every time you collect gym badges, you beat the Elite Four, you beat whatever the big team is in that game. Bing, bang, and bosh, done. But no one, no one has the same Pokemon playthrough. Like, you can't turn around to your friend and be like, oh, what did you beat Pokemon Green with? And they say that they had the exact same team as you. There's always something different. Everyone plays Pokemon in their own way. And I love that about the game. And plus, Pokemon are just adorable. <laughs> They've cemented themselves as a pretty much bit of mainstream media now. I feel like Pokemon is going to be around for years and years to come. And to be honest, I hope it is. Before we get to number one, I want to list some honorable mentions. So I'm going to try and be as quick as I can. Grand Theft Auto, Elder Scrolls, Red Dead Redemption. I know technically not a franchise because it only has two, but you know, we can as one. The Disgaea series, Animal Crossing, the Arkham series, and many, 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 many more. Is Minecraft technically a franchise? Because I'd like to give that an honourable mention. Um, I know there's only like one Minecraft, one main Minecraft game, but you know, then you've got Minecraft Story Mode, you've got Minecraft Dungeons, you've got Minecraft Legends coming out. So, you know, I probably would say that that's a franchise and I'm giving it an honourable But I bet you were not, not prepared for what number one is. There's no way that you're prepared for what number one's going to be. Come on. See yourself down, see yourself down. Okay, so number one is Final Fantasy. <laughs> of course, it was going to be Final Fantasy. Okay, pretty much my entire career on Twitch, my entire journey on Twitch has been streaming Final Fantasy games, Final Fantasy X, Final Fantasy VIII, Final Fantasy IX, World of Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy XIV, 2000 years later, Final Fantasy VII Remake, Final Fantasy XIII, we've played a lot of Final Fantasy over on Twitch and that's because I just love the franchise so much, it has always had a big part of my heart, it's a... a I can't put into words exactly what it is about this franchise that makes me love it so much. I don't think it's perfect by any means. There have been games that have been terrible and I don't like, but as an overall, I just really like it. Every game has got heart, story, love, action. Every game except 12. 12 can go right to hell. I don't like 12. <laughs> And it is one of those games, if I'm feeling down, I will either go on to 14 or play either 10 or 8. If I'm feeling particularly nostalgic, I like to go back and play 7 or 6. And I know each game that I've played reminds me of different points in my life. So those games have actually helped me through some pretty tough times. I know that is really stereotypically and stupid to say but they truly truly have so that right there was a video that no one asked for and i hope you enjoyed it stick around because there'll be more of these top fives coming out as we're getting into the new swing with what we're doing over on the channel so you know the next one could be it could be anime themed could be cartoon themed could be completely random and blow your mind maybe i talk about my top five doctors not doctors from doctor who just you know doctors that i've dealt with in my life <laughs> and i'm just kidding anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope to see you around soon and still i still not thought of that catchphrase so until next time